welcome back once again uh people um this is uh, this video to, for today is about the burglar proof body straight and then the gates and also the passico um the estimates and the cost uh the total cost so uh what we are going to, what i'm going to do is explain to you guys what how many windows i have so i have 13 big windows and then i have small windows also i have nine and then the side doors windows which i will show you guys when i go inside and then the side door windows i have eight of them and then the balustrade in the front of the building uh the divisions we have we have five of them in the front and then i have the gate as well and then two passicles so i'll show you guys as i go inside so here is the gate as well so so here and here are the side windows as you can see over here and then over here is also the side window so i have eight of them and then here is one of the big windows as well so this is how we do the we did the burglar proof um we chose the the long bars and uh, so that's how it looks like and then we have the passicle so i have two of them I have one downstairs and another one upstairs the reason why we did the passicle is we're going to do glass over here as doors and then also we are looking at safety in case of fire so you can open the passicle and get out both top and down so here is one of the big windows as well uh very big windows i have people on site uh working right now so um don't mind the noise um hopefully um this video will come out um good because i just have to tone down a little bit because there are so many noise going around and i cannot kick them out because they are working so mostly i will stay in the kitchen here to do most of the videos so um sorry on the windows the small one i said i had nine i actually have 11. this house was designed to have um a lot of sunlight in it so that is how the, the house was designed so if you stand if you stand over anyway you, it, that's how this house was designed so the first as usual my advice is you get three coats all right when you're giving any artisan any work get three artisans to give you a coat and then you select one so this is what we did so i got three artisans for the windows um and the first one um before i say the first one the coat i have to let you know that i told them that we're going to buy the galvanized material we're not we are not going to buy the other type the galvanized is meant for the seaside to avoid the rust so we decided to get that um and then so the first one came to thirty three thousand two hundred fifty. The second person actually gave me a lower coat, which was 26898 And the third one was 24800 Ghana cities. So when you look at it, you can tell I'm very skeptic about the 33000 because that's too high, so I eliminated that person. And so it was left with the second and the third because they were really close looking at the coat. So the 26 and the 24,000 one looks very close. So what I did was I chose the 24,800 because I went to his workplace and I saw the, the balustrade and all the things that he's done so he can do the job. So then I have to interrogate him why his coat is low. I'm not going to tell him how. I didn't tell him that it was low. But what I did was I brought him on site and say, hey, let's measure this thing again. We measured it naturally. When we measured it, the quantity of the materials actually came down based on the style that I chose. So uh, here's how the breakdown was. So 
I told him that I'm gonna pay for the labor while he's gonna I'm I'm gonna pay for his labor, but I'm gonna go and buy the materials myself. And he knew right from there that if I go and buy the material, the cost will actually come down more. So overall, his um, his uh, cost, his uh, money for all the gates, the uh, the burglar proof, and the passicle, he decided to take. To, um, he, at first, he charged me six thousand, but I beat it down, and we were able to come to a conclusion that it's going to be the twenty-four thousand eight hundred. So that was his cost. So then. When I went, I bought everything by myself. Uh, we went to uh, the, uh, I went to a shaman where they have um, a steel place that we went and bought all the, the steel from there. So when we purchased the steel, it all came down to, or everything, including all the, one whole body came down to 15980 That was last year. So. We have to we have to understand that. So I bought that's what that's what the cost came um, fifteen thousand nine hundred and some change. That's what the, it came to. Uh, and then he took chose his four thousand eight hundred. So we brought all the materials. The driver also took to deliver took three hundred and fifty Ghana cities. So we brought the materials to his site. To his workplace and he started doing it and he came he did it and came and brought it and we installed them so overall uh we saved some money big time money so the advice i'll give is when if you're doing a burglar proof or you are giving access you need to buy the materials all the building what we are doing is we buying the materials while we pay the we pay them the workmanship we are not letting them um we are not letting them uh, choose what they're going to do. So, what we did was, um, we also we actually also paid for transportation to convey the the product that was done. So, guys, what do you think? Do you think doing the passico and having a glass door, and also both down and top? Is good because I think for safety reasons, when there's fire, you can just come out and open. Um, so that's what we did because to just make sure that uh, we provide that because of the type of burglar proof that I chose. So, what do you think? Let me know if you think that it's a good idea. Um, I think that's good because that's what I really, really want. Because I was thinking about all this burglar proof that they're doing, and I know they have the one that. You can roll the windows, but those ones, from what I heard, it doesn't last. So, guys, in the next video, I'll be talking more about the. I'll be talking more about POP, um, and then also the next one. Look out for the screening and the tiling, and then I'll talk more also about uh, the electricity, the wiring, and everything. So there are more videos coming. The good thing is I video them, but some of them I didn't I didn't think about posting them. Um but I will re, I will redo them I will video them again because um it's it's done, it's complete. So I will show you what we we did. Uh, and then um if you guys think uh, it's a great idea, um we'll take it from there. But as usual, share subscribe comment and push the notification button so that you can view more upcoming videos as i post them thank you very much thank you for subscribing continue to do so i will speak to you guys in the next video bye bye